So let's do a quick review. You have your search area, a for you area, movie shows, apps. And if you click on the apps, it will show all the apps that you currently have installed on your Google TV. As you can see, I have Netflix, YouTube, YouTube TV. These were some of the pre-installed apps that I selected during the initial startup. Let's open this thing up. Then we're going to take it back to the lab and see how it performs. Okay, so let's open up the package. Sorry, package. Didn't mean to tear you. But maybe I'm a little bit excited. Okay, right out the box, you have your dongle or your actual Chromecast. I'm assuming this is the remote. It looks pretty small for the packaging. You have your USB-C charger. This is how the end of the connection look. Just round it off. You have your instruction or let's get started manual. And right here you have two batteries that doesn't have a name on them. So that's what's included in the box. Now we're gonna take it back to the lab and give it a test drive. Okay, we're back at the lab and I'll be using my cell phone as part of the installation process for the new Chromecast with Google TV. So if you don't have the Google Home application, go ahead and download it from the App Store. So this is the main screen of the Google Home application and right up top under my home it says set up Chromecast. So I'm going to go ahead and select set up Chromecast at home. Right now it's looking for the new Chromecast device. So we're going to give it a few seconds. And right now it's asking my phone for permission to use the camera because I'm going to use the camera to scan the QR code. So take your cell phone camera and scan the QR code that's located on your television screen. Once the camera connects to the code, you will see a message that's saying connecting to the Chromecast. Now the screen that you're seeing right now is coming off of my cell phone, but you will see a similar screen on your smart TV. Okay, while we're giving a Chromecast with Google TV time to load up, if you guys have ever installed a Chromecast, it's a similar installation process. Okay, my Google TV is now connected to the Google Home application. I'm going to go ahead and agree to the legal terms. Then I'm going to pick where I would like for this device to be. I'm going to select master bedroom. Here are some room suggestions. Then I'm going to connect to one of my available Wi-Fi networks. So now I'm going to enter my Wi-Fi password and keep in mind the best practice is to make sure that the Google Home application is on the same Wi-Fi network as your TV and other streaming devices. Okay, the Google TV is now connecting to the Wi-Fi network via the Google Home application. I'm going to give it a few more seconds. And as you can see, the new Chromecast with Google TV is now connected. We're going to hit continue. The next step is signing in to your Google account. So make sure you have a Google account set up before installing the new Chromecast with Google TV. Now it's asking to verify that it's me. So in this step, you're going to log in with your Google email address and the password. And now, as you can see, it's signing me in. Now, these are just some Google services where they're asking to use your Chromecast location, help improving the Chromecast, recommendations, assistance, 
you can enable or disable these options they're not mandatory and as you can see I'm going to disable a few of them so once you enable or disable the Google services of your choice go ahead and select accept okay this is the Google assistant page where you will use your Google TV remote to set up the Google assistant with the Google assistant you can speak right into your remote for example you can say play next episode it will play the next episode of whatever TV series that you're watching the good thing about Google assistants it will search across all your TV apps go ahead and select allow and right here you have the option to let Google assistants recognize your voice I'm going to skip this and say no thanks right now I can always come back later this is a good option especially if you have multiple people using the same Google TV so as the Google assistants recognize your voice it can tailor movies TV shows and applications specifically to your taste right now you can choose your assistants they have a male voice and a female voice Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. I'm sure they will add more voices. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help now you here's throughout the your cool day. Part. If you have any of these selected services, such as Netflix, YouTube, and YouTube TV, you can select them and have them uploaded directly to the Chromecast with Google TV. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a few of these services that I like and then I'm going to select next. Now it's asking me which device to the master bedroom. I'm going to select master bedroom. It's asking me to choose an ambient mode. You can choose Google Photos or something from the art gallery at this point. After you do that, go ahead and select next. Now you can select which styles of photos that you would like to have displayed during your screensaver. After you do that, go ahead and select next. You can choose to stay updated on Google services and products. I'm going to say no. And as you can see, I'm all done. Go ahead and select continue. And as you can see, guys, setup here is finished. And now I'm going to move over to the television and see what the Chromecast with Google TV has to offer. This is the main screen of the Chromecast with Google TV. So we're going to give it a few seconds to load up. I'm going to fast forward to speed up the process. This is just some of the preliminary screen information when you first load up your Chromecast with Google TV. These instructions will help you set up your volume where you can toggle your volume up and down. And the next set of instructions will help you power on and off the remote. This Chromecast with Google TV has a very smooth interface. The instructions are easy to follow and so far so good I haven't had any problems with the installation of Google's latest invention. So we're going to give it a few more seconds to complete the installation of the install apps. Now it's adding its finishing touches. Your Chromecast with Google TV is ready.